why I stare at people. Which sounds really creepy when I say that out loud. I'm an introvert, I'm very shy, so naturally it is hard for me to do things like talk and interact with other human beings. And also naturally, I want to improve upon these things, so I have a few ways that I kind of go about doing that. And one of them is where this whole staring thing kind of comes into play. And I kind of wish that like I didn't do this, or at least that I had a different way of doing it, because I don't want people to think that I'm just like rudely staring at them, even though technically that is what I'm doing. But that's besides the point. Uh, we're gonna call it absorbing. So I like to absorb people and what they do and how they act and how they react to learn from them. If someone appears very approachable, what do they do? What do they say? What's their body language? What do they do to make other people feel comfortable around them? If someone makes a good first impression on me, I want to know why. And I want to find out what they do and how they act to give that feeling. So I found that for me, the best way to learn is to find someone that's already doing it and absorb them. If I want to be more charismatic, I will find other people <laughs> who are charismatic and study what they do. When I have conversations, a big problem is just that I don't know what to say. I might have something in mind beforehand and then I go to talk and everything just flies out the window and I can't think of anything to say so my only hope is that the person I'm talking to is good at conversations and can initiate things to talk about and ask me questions that I can respond to. So when I absorb two people <laughs> talking, I do kind of focus on how that conversation is playing out and how they're initiating conversations so that maybe next time I go to have a conversation I can have some things in the back of my mind that I can use so I don't just have to depend on the other person and hope that they're not shy as well because then we're just like both sunk and there's not going to be a conversation to be had. So when I am absorbing people <laughs> there are a few main things that I kind of pay attention to. One is what are they saying and this is just simply what they say, what they're talking about, what words they use to get their point across. Two is how much are they saying? Do they talk a lot? Are they a chatterbox? Or are they a good listener? How many details are they giving in a conversation? And three is my personal favorite, I find it really interesting, and that is how do they say it? And this includes tone of voice, this includes things like sarcasm, do they use sarcasm to get their point across or do they just say it straight out? This also includes body language and expressions, which I have found to be so incredibly important in social interactions, which is also why I am even more uncomfortable talking on the phone to someone than if I was talking to them in person. If something I'm saying or doing is making someone else feel uncomfortable, I want to know, but that's not something they're likely to tell me at least not directly, so I need to be able to look at their body language and expressions to know how what I'm saying and doing is affecting them, so that I can piece together all these aspects in order to express what I want to get across when I am interacting with someone. So in conclusion, I am scared every time I go to talk or interact with someone, which hopefully isn't obvious, as a result, I am also fascinated by people. How do you talk so easily? How do you get your point across? How do you say the right thing? And obviously I am not the only person to worry about saying the wrong thing or hurting someone's feelings or offending someone or saying something and it comes out as the exact opposite of what you meant to say and I recognize that and that is why I don't just learn from the successes that people have within social interactions, I also learn from the failures because you've heard learn from your mistakes, well, why not learn from other people's mistakes as well? Because you have the opportunity because everyone else is messing up just as much as you are. Also, in conclusion, <laughs> I apologize to anyone who I have probably really rudely stared at because I have a tendency to just zone off because I'm like taking mental notes in my head. So I hope everything in this video made sense. I think I covered everything that I wanted to cover, although I will probably think of more stuff as soon as the camera is off. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed it, and I will see y'all in the next video. And that's it. I have notes of like things that I want to say, um, but they're really in no particular order, so I'm not even sure where I'm going to start. So this is going to be a fun video to tape.